Hello guys, uh, this is Shaw and today I will show you how you can use your simple Android phone as a remote controller with your Droid box. So uh, the first step is to start your box as normal which I have already done and after that you have to go on to the settings option which I will do now. So the settings option you can see it's located at the near the bottom of the screen the two cogs okay I'm going on to my settings the two cogs I'm clicking OK and it shows me all these options network display advanced and other and you need to go on to advanced so once you're on to advanced you will need to turn on the remote control option here you can see there is a remote control option and it's currently turned off so what we will do is we will just go ahead and turn this on. So I am selecting the, this and then I am pressing OK and it's turned on. So the remote control option is on and the next steps after this are going to be performed on your simple Android phone that we will be using as a remote controller uh, with the box. So we have just turned on the remote control option and now we will head over to our, um, to our Android phone so uh, this is my simple Android phone you can see and I'm going to unlock it now okay you can see this is my simple Android phone which I'm going to use as a remote controller with my Droid box so what you need to do is you will need to install an app uh, you will need to install an app called as smart IR remote so I'm going into Play Store so for installing an app you always need to go into Play Store you can go into Play Store within your from within your apps the all, all the apps so or you can go it from the home screen if you have it on the home screen so I'm going into my Play Store now and once I am in my Play Store just search at the top you can search for smart smart i remote you can see there is smart eye remote so when you search for it you can see the first application is smart eye remote and I'm going to click on it and install it okay I'm clicking on it and it's opening up and you can see there's an install option I will click on install okay clicking on install then click accept and it's installing on my phone now so okay it's installing okay now it shows the open option and I'm going to open it now so you can see that it is showing my network uh, network address my network IP address which is 192.168.1.3 so uh, make sure that your Droid box and your phone is on the same Wi-Fi network if they are on the diff different network then it might cause a problem but if they are on the same network then definitely they will work fine so uh, you can see that I am in my remote IME application and now I'm going to click on this uh, address which you can see at the top 192.168.1.3 I'm going to click on this once I click on this you can see there is a remote with the OK button and you can see the home button the menu button at the top here is the menu button this is the home button this is the return and this is the OK and the channel up and down and volume up and down the channel up and down so you can see there is the volume up and volume down and there's search okay this option we have another window which can be used to play uh, videos and we have another uh, we have another window which can be used as to uh, as a scroll to scroll down so if you want to scroll down on your screen on your drive box then definitely you can use this one uh, this feature not so clear in the video but 
you can you can just remember that it is the third option and the fourth option is the remote con uh, the keyboard it also has a keyboard and you can use it with your with your drawing box pretty easy if you don't have a remote control that has a key keypad type remote then definitely you can use this one so you can see it has a fully functional remote uh, keypad and you can use it so I'm heading over to the drive box and we're going to check it out uh, on the drive box on this very remote so hold on a minute I'm going to start my phone again okay so let's check how it works with the uh, with the drive box so I'm heading over to the drive box and I'm using the normal uh, the, the remote app uh, within uh, my Android phone within my simple Android phone you can, so I'm seeing you can see that the selections are going on one by one and okay now I'm pressing okay okay now I'm pressing the OK button and see if it goes in okay great so it's, it's functioning properly I can say